St Mary's Metropolitan Cathedral in Edinburgh, the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of St Andrews in Edinburgh. Over the past two years, this diocese has been discussing how to square the circle of having too few priests and people, but, arguably, too many churches and parishes. That discussion saw over 7,000 people take part in nearly 120 public meetings, and these reports are the result of all that hard work. These are the final submissions from parishes across the diocese, and this is the man who will decide, Archbishop Leo Cushley. This weekend, he issued a pastoral letter to his people and his priests to explain his latest thinking as he approaches his final decisions. He spoke exclusively to Sancta Familia Media. I discovered when I first got here nearly five years ago that since about 1981, our parishes have been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And over that length of time, it might not be perceived very quickly, very easily, but it was made clear to me by many priests and people that something need to, needed to be done about that. That we have the same number of parishes that we had, or very nearly the same number, and yet the number of people who are practicing, the number of priests who are able to serve them, has been getting gradually smaller and smaller. And so I decided to go and ask the priests and the people about what we, what we do about that for the future. I went out on the road and I spoke to thousands and thousands of people in our diocese, those who wanted to come, those who wanted to be there, a coalition of the willing if you, if you like, and put the case to them that we needed to do something to reduce the numbers of our parishes and the numbers of our churches as a result um, in order to draw people more closely together uh, to celebrate the Sunday Eucharist in particular. Without that, we're interesting, but we're not the Catholic Church. So we have to keep our minds fixed upon the Sunday Eucharist and its centrality to our lives. The buildings, as it were, are, are secondary, but the, reaction, but the reaction among the people told me that they are nonetheless very close to people's hearts. So I have to take that into consideration. They love them, they paid for them, they built them, their, their people before them built them, and a lot of affection has gone into them. And so I have to take account of that. And the more I travelled in the diocese, the more I came to appreciate that. So to see them, to, to, to be able to accommodate that, it seemed to me that perhaps I could, we could do both. I could meet them halfway by reducing the number of parishes to simplify things um, pastorally, to make them better pastorally, to improve them pastorally, but at the same time to, to let the people have their, their churches for as, as long as they're prepared to, to maintain them. I think I know what we have to do. Um, I just have to find ways to explain that to people and to, to bring them with me. But um, I have learned a lot from the priests and the people over these last couple of years. And it's, it's been a very important um, learning time for me um, as I've seen what they expect, what they want, what they think they're able to do and what I think we'll be able to do together.